All right, we're back to finish this up. We got the uh, balsamic sauce sitting right here. Uh, you can probably see, I don't know if you can, but kind of like oil and vinegar. Uh, they don't mix, it's basically a balsamic vinegar dressing for salad, except the, reducing the balsamic vinegar kind of gives it even a thicker taste. You can see this stuff on the sides. If I scrape that, it almost looks like tar, but you can taste that. It's thick. It's a syrup, and a lot of that in there has gotten that thick. It's going to stick right to the wings. Got a little celery, and if you hadn't noticed, if you'd watched any before, this cutting surface is also my stove, and I'll interchange those, but this is really the best vantage point for the, uh, for the camera. So let me grab them wings. I've been keeping them on warm. Uh, and I was a little off on the time. They took at least 10 minutes, but these were jumbo wings. Now, I gotta taste a little bit of the crispiness part, you know, stuff that flaked off. You can taste the potato chips. There is a definite difference, but we did out a good amount of spice too. So we're gonna combine those. I'm gonna need a towel, because that's freaking hot. And you don't have to worry too much about trying to get it to mix. It's not, the oil is gonna stick. You know, it's, it, it, it works. It's, I mean, this is the basis of any of these sauces that you put on wings. I'm just tossing them in. I do want to get as much of that balsamic. There's, there's the flavor that we're looking for. I forgot, that was hot. Yeah, so I had time to wait and have a smoke break before we have dinner. Try not to get this on me, but you just want to see those get nice and coated. You see it fill it in the cracks. It's almost like it's got black veins. Now, I'm not sure what you guys have with your wings. I'm a blue cheese man. We are currently out of blue cheese, so I'm opting for ranch. Second best. And as opposed to dipping the wings into the ranch, I'm like, I get a little cup and I use one of these. And it's a scoop and I can just drizzle it on. Uh, these are a little too hot for uh, tasting right now. I can assure you they smell good. I know they're crispy. They sat in the oven, you know, for a good 10 minutes after I was done. I cleaned up and made sure the oil was unplugged and everything was safe before I could show you this. So they've been there for a good while. And, uh, and you think about it, we got 16 wings. And other than this time and a little bit of spices, you couldn't get something like this in any restaurant. You get six wings for $7.99 or something. You know, do it yourself. It's really not that hard. Cook them however you want. Make your own sauce. Now, it's easy enough to look up, you know, the Frank's Buffalo Wig Sauce. You can buy it in a jar, but these come out so much better, especially fresh. And you can smell the process. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll do it again. Still looking for suggestions. Otherwise, I'll probably just, you know, cook whatever we're eating that night. All right. Take care. Much love out there.